now I'm going to pass something over to Paul. Um, Paul, kind of one of the things you and I were talking about, and I just wanted to bring it up in this hotline and kind of a question really more coming from me than any of our members, but after we had the Horse Business Employee Seminar, we were talking a little bit about payroll issues and payroll taxes and the kinds of challenges or problems that horse professionals can get into by misclassifying their employees um, or misclassifying a, a, a private an employee as a private contractor and some of the things that are going on with the IRS right now so far as um, hiring more um, agents and also, and Brian, I'm sure you can weigh in on this a bit too, um, and just maybe you could just touch on that about why it, why payroll tax is important and some of the issues and penalties um, that make it a, a relevant topic for horse professionals right now. Sure, be glad to. Uh, the IRS now has a 6,000 employment tax audit program that they're in the middle of. Uh, it's 2,000 audits per year last year, this year, and next year. And they love these audits because uh, they get so much more money per audit hour in an employment tax audit than they do in an income tax audit. And it's dangerous for horse owners because if they determine that uh, someone who was treated as an independent contractor should have been treated as an employee, uh, they will go after the individual, even if you're using a corporation or an LLC. It's called the 100% penalty. Very pernicious. Uh, anyone who has signature authority and the ability to, to decide, well, I'm going to pay the feed store or I'm going to pay the IRS uh, is subject to being assessed with a 100% penalty. And it is not even dischargeable in bankruptcy. So it's a, a very heavy-duty thing. Why does the government love it so much? They, they love it so much because it makes the business owner the tax collector for the IRS. If you're treating your employees properly, you're taking FICA, which is Social Security, FUDA, Federal Unemployment, and withholding taxes, and you're paying them over to the government. You're doing the government's work. Sometimes it's difficult in the horse industry to say, who's what? What about a horse trainer? Well, it could be either way. If you have a, you know, a major horse trainer at a track, well, that person is going to be an independent contractor. Or if you're using a major public trainer where you, know, you get your bill, they have uh, 40 different customers in the barn, that's going to be an independent contractor. But if you have your own trainer who trains exclusively for you, they're probably going to be an employee. Now, the most pernicious category is stall cleaners. What about stall cleaners? You know, I know so many people that they just pay stall cleaners cash, you know, sort of under the table. Um, and I can't say that it doesn't happen. It does. However, if they get caught, most of the time a stall cleaner is going to be seen as an employee. You know, what are the tests? I mean, it's a 20-factor 20, 20 test. We're not going to go through all 20. Overriding its control. Does the horse business owner control when the worker shows up, the order in which the work is done, how the work is done? Does the worker have their own tools? Does the worker have a risk of loss? Now, having said that stall cleaners are usually employees, I can imagine a situation in which they're not. Uh, suppose that some enterprising teenager shows up at your uh, door and says, look, uh, you've got uh, eight stalls back there. I'll contract with you to clean those stalls uh, you know, twice a week for a set fee, and you say, okay. Well, if you don't control when that teenager comes over to cl uh, clean the stalls, uh, that could be uh, you know, a decisive factor. Better still, if they brought their own shovel, Better still, and this is an important one, if you're trying to treat someone as an independent contractor who's close, have them prepare invoices. If they send you an invoice and you pay off an invoice, that does go toward independent contractor employee. Last thing, uh, a development in the field in the last 10 years is didn't used to count, but a written agreement that says um, uh, George Smith is an independent contractor 
as he trains my horses. It doesn't necessarily totally determine everything, but it is now taken into account. So that is a factor, and you can, uh, you know, buttress your case uh, by uh, a writing. Um, you know, if you do properly treat your people as employees, then you'd be smart to get somebody like uh, uh, Pam or Brian uh, to handle it because then they can take out the right amount, they can check the W-9 number of boxes, and then also file your uh, employment tax returns. At any rate, that's, uh, uh, that's an overview of the employment tax uh, you know, problem that horse businesses face.